Hello, my friends. Best greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov, and if you are interested in new technologies of beekeeping, this video for you. If you are interested in beekeeping technologies in Ukraine, and you speak English and you can understand my speech, this video is especially for you. Because today I am very pleased to be at the apiary of Ukrainian beekeeper Vasil Priyatilinka near the capital of Ukraine, Kiev, only 50 kilometers near Kiev. And here I am very pleased to show you and explain the system of his innovative Vasil Priyatilinko's beehive. Why innovative? Because many things are innovative here. They are modified, they are changed, they are already tested and they already showed very positive results okay, in products, in collecting honey, in harvesting honey from June till the September and also good results in development of honeybee colony as well. Well, and you see here, this is two stories behind and three stories behinds three different beehives. And by the way, what are the most interesting in these beehives? Because they are modified from the, really from the beginning. The modified construction of beehive and modified construction of frame. Yes, indeed, the frame was changed. And I'm pleased to show you that this changed frame uh, is very special and used here in all these three beehives. I'm sitting here near this very active beehive, which already gave just a swarm today. We collected the swarm and we did two different videos. You can watch it nearby, near this video about swarming activity. Because this beehive is still making this swarm, but very small swarms. But what's about frames initially? Okay, you can recognize and I explain you that here we have it just small story, small box, then very deep one and just the super. What are the differences between them? In the first one we use this type of frame, the normal standard Dadan's frame. Okay, uh, 400 460 on 200, 235 millimeters just inside frame and we use standardized artificial foundation. So here on the first story we use uh, eight frames, narrow, wide, then we use narrow, deep frames in the second, 12 frames. And on the top, in a super, again we use eight, eight narrow wide frames. Well, eight, eight and twelve, all together 28 frames. Good enough for development of a big, big honeybee colony. But what is the special difference? Because on the first story we use them in this position, then we use this foundation like this in a crosswise position and then again and again this is a real position like here in the hive and then again on the top in the super you can recognize that all of them were just in crosswise positioning so why crosswise positioning because this is very convenient positioning and actually this is position like a in a natural nest we consider why because here there is no B space between three stories. Yes, this is first feature, by the way, and very important. No B space between three stories. You say why and what, what it gives. It gives just efficient use of all the space and also natural construction of beehive nest, honeybee nest. Why natural? Because all all these frames and all three stories they will be all connected together. They will be united. They will be just so, like solid construction all together, all these frames. And it will give just the opportunity for bees move from first story to second and to the top. Okay, we use 
first story and the second one for brood development and this is a special technology how to give bees to give here just a brood so here will be 12 and 8 12 frames all together two of them like here this is for development of brood so and usually we use just only one story to start the colony from the swarm just if you want to hive bees you can use just only one story two stories it's already will be just growing just a good colony and of course the third story will be just super super for collecting honey for harvesting honey like here already if we have here bee colony and we give them just the next one free one super we will collect honey in super story and it and i will show you yeah how are they collecting it but of course of course some honey can be collected even here during uh, development of this beehive not only to only with two different stories like here you see they stay, stay like here 12 12 frames like this and this is was used already for brood you see in the middle this is a brown part used for brood and here already just with honey actually this is from the last season not from this season i just get got it from the story to show you and and you see if we put new foundation here in super as i said eight frames again in this but no, in this position in in this position in brood story will be like this here will be eight frames in this position in and eight frames will give you just a honey okay approximately 20 kilograms per just super or 24 kilograms per super you can and get uh, the, uh, the frame with honey just part by part and and what what else i will say, tell you uh, the most interesting part the frame the frame i still didn't explain it because you can recognize the frame is different from others from dadan frame this is modified frame you see normal frame has a just end bars bottom bar and top bar and this to top bar has a metal top bar a metal top bar very narrow only seven millimeters seven millimeters profile and of course this is with wired foundation for sure and why seven millimeters profile and metal metal usually also covered with a wax because you need to put foundation to wax and will be with wax it's normal and metal phone metal top bar provides the connection between fr frames if you put them like this in the cross positioning all frames were connected one frame touch another frame like this eight frames here and eight frames in a down story and nine frames here in the middle store we are connected all together and here we need to have just narrow top bar very narrow just honeybees will move between frames freely that's very important and of course metal metal top bar provides just stability here this very strong it provides also some condensation of water in use uh, second time use of water and it's covered but works so is and it's easy to use it with the standardized foundation because this is a special profile here like n n profile so we insert foundation inside and keep it in a strong position so that's a description of very short description of a vasil priyatilenko behind how it's uh, looks like the construction and of course I'm very pleased to tell few words about our publications and by the way the this construction was already described in several journals in Ukrainian and Russian and in English language 
and recently we got from our publisher from our editor of journal Beekeepers Quarterly in Britain the copies of journal Beekeepers Quarterly John Phipps editor of Beekeepers Quarterly was very kind just to check our uh, manuscripts and he accepted our manuscripts for publication so he published already here in Bikipis Quarterly a report about Apimondia 2013 with also participation our participation in Apimondia this is my photo by the way <laughs> and uh, different photos from Apimondia in Kiev in Ukraine two years ago last year we visited Turkey in Apislavia Congress with Vasil Priyatilenka and we already published the paper in Bikipis Quarterly named from Apimondia to Apislavia and in this journal the Beekeepers Quarterly 2014 in December we published paper named Beekeeping Equipment Hives and Frames the new convenient design of frames in the innovative beehive of Ukrainian beekeeper Vasil Priyatelenko here we did very careful description of frames of beekeeping technology which Vasil Priyatelenko using here with his big hives. This actually, these his photographs in his apiary. He is now busy with our other big hives, and I am explaining just in English what's going on here. And we are very pleased that our publication got some support from beekeepers. Uh, they were very interesting for participants of Apislavia in Turkey. People asked a lot of questions whether. And uh, surprised and we were very enthusiastic to get our explanation about the work of this very interesting and effective, the most important effective beehive, Vasil Priyatilenko beehive. The effectiveness of this beehive is approximately 50 60 kilograms of honey per beehive without moving from your apiary without migratory beekeeping just at stationary beekeeping and stationary api apiary so it's a good enough I guess so and the most important without any additional feeding of your honeybees many beekeepers will use just additional feeding with a sugar liquid or with a, uh, with a sugar uh, Vasil Priyatinka never use it and he is not using it now so that's a natural way of keeping honeybees and by the way uh, we consider that this construction of beehive this is a very close to natural construction of beehive like in natural nest in a cavity in a cavity in a tree so that's why it's working effectively efficiently with good health for the whole bee honeybee colony and with good effectiveness in harvesting honey so thank you for your attention I hope uh, that was uh, interesting for you to know about beehive of Vasil Priyatilenka and please welcome to my channel and you will see more interesting videos about beekeeping technology in Ukraine and about peculiarities of Vasil Priyatilenko beehive which is he is using now in Ukraine and he will be very pleased to share his experience with other beekeepers worldwide and to share their beekeeping technologies and of course his equipment because he is selling this equipment for beekeepers who is interested in this beekeeping equipment he can sell it and share his beekeeping technology to use it effectively efficiently and with high productivity in be honey harvesting so thank you for your attention press like if you like this video subscribe to my channel and ask questions i will be very pleased to reply to your questions and your comments and see you soon on my channel and good luck and see you soon thank you for your attention and thank you for john phipps for his kindness in checking our manuscripts and accepting of our manuscripts and for publication in beekeepers quarterly and I will be very pleased that Beekeeping Quarterly will be widely distributed worldwide if people will read it, 
the content is really very interesting and many papers here they're very interesting very bright photographs and we have many news from different countries thank you thank you see you soon